and crew it's your girl nikki the glam teacher i am back excuse me for being missing i have been working y'all i've been doing a lot of work jesus i've been working but i am back with a new video i am going to get back on my routine and post consistently every sunday i'm going to come with a new video um if you don't have on the post notifications you need to turn them on because every now and then I will post something and I want you to be the first to see the video. So today's video is going to be a cost breakdown of what I spent for round two. Okay. So my first round, I did go a little overboard because I, I gave myself a budget of 10,000. This round, I gave myself a budget of 7,000 and I went way below budget. Um, as you know, if you don't know, go check out my last video. It was a doctor review of who I went to for round two. He was Dr. Manuel Diaz Guzman, aka Dr. Diaz. Oh, y'all, I do not have on my faja right now. <laughs> it's in the washer. I've been out of my faja, but don't be like me. Make sure you stay your faja, okay? Okay. So, um, I think the main reason why I did not go over budget is because I picked a very good doctor, Dr. Diaz. Like, no deaths. No complications, infections that I heard of. He does not add all these extra fees and dot, 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 trying to get you for money. He is a very respectable, reputable doctor, and I appreciate him. I had a very good experience with Dr. D is, and I stayed in budget, y'all. So let's get into this video about my cost breakdown. So first of all, my overall total was 5000 $833. I broke that down to the, to the dollar, y'all. $5,833 was my total expense. When I say total, that includes my airfare. That includes my recovery house. That includes medicines that I bought, extra creams. This even includes my trip to Boca Chica where I was out on a boat, living live out in the ocean, exploring the city, y'all. <laughs> It even includes that. So, telling y'all, I was at budget, y'all. And I was not expecting it. I thought I was going to be going over, but I didn't. Okay, so let's start with <clears throat> my quote. Now, a couple videos back, I shared the quotes that I had with doctors for round two. Dr. Diaz had the most, um, how do I say, he had the most detailed quote and exactly what he quoted me for was exactly what he charged me. There was no extra additional hidden costs and him and his staff communicated really well with me. So my quote with him was for $4,300. I paid a $300 deposit. So when I got to the Dominican Republic, I still owed Dr. Diaz $4,000. And I paid that right before surgery. He did his evaluation with me. He spoke with me. I did my lab work, my test work, da, 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 da. Everything you need to do. Everything that I explained in my last video, my doctor review with him. And then um, before surgery, I paid him my $4,000 and I got a receipt. Now, last year, um, there was like a small issue where they were trying to charge me for something else with a different doctor, a different recovery house. They were trying to charge me for something and say I didn't pay. I kept my receipt. So make sure when you're paying for things, you're getting a receipt and you keep your receipt in case something comes up, you have proof and you can show, I paid for this. If you're clumsy with losing paperwork, snap a quick picture of it. That way you have it in your phone and you have proof that you paid for whatever it was and y'all can't charge me no more for whatever, okay? All right. <clears throat> so in my quote, that included my recovery house. Um... That included my procedure and everything that we talked about and that I was getting done. That included my transportation and there was no additional stuff. This round, I did not go out for outside massages. I did have 10 massages included in my package and I had already decided to myself, if the recovery house I stayed at, my next video, I got y'all, but the recovery house that I stayed at, if their in-house massage person did not massage me the way that I felt was good, then I had decided to myself, I would go out to the place I went to last year. Therefore, that would have costed me more money for transportation. The recovery house drivers do charge 
let's say the typical there and back to um, the outside massage place would have been a $20 ride, whereas I could have caught Uber there and back for $8. So kind of, you know, price, you can price these things and make a list and fit your budget. So like I said, a typical ride with your recovery house driver there and back, maybe $20. But if you get an Uber there and back, the same place is going to be $8. And Uber is completely safe. So um, the recovery house I stayed at, the massages were on point. She did exactly what I needed her to do. They were a little short. They were only 30 minutes. But um, there were 10 massages included in my package. So I just doubled up on massages so that I could get a full hour massage, which is what I prefer and like for my body. There was a $210 insurance fee with Dr. Diaz. Um, and I was told that beforehand, I knew about the $210 fee. In his quote, he was detailed what that $210 covered. If I had any complications or anything like that, then I will be covered up to like $15,000 US in hospital medical fees. And it would cover me for 30 days, I believe. But I didn't stay 30 days. I stayed 10 days. Did I say 10 days? I stayed 10 days, yeah, um, because I was like seven or eight days post-op when I left, and then I had to arrive two days prior to surgery. So, um, oh, I came with $6,000. I went to DR with $6,000. I came home with $1,010. So after I paid my $4,000 to Diaz, plus the $210 insurance fee, um, I did the oxygen chamber, which was not required. I didn't have a lot of bruising this time, but I just wanted to do it. Um, I did do the oxygen chamber. I only went one time. I didn't want to go overboard with my spending. I wanted to maybe do like two more times, but the oxygen chamber is $100 per treatment. But I got some really good bruising cream that helped the thermosin. It's like black and yellow. I've showed it to you guys in several videos. Put it in the description box. Um, I'll link the video that I went over the supplies that I used to this video. So check the description box. But that um, cream is really good for bruising. And you rub that on a few times a day, your bruising will be gone. When I left the DR, I did not have a lot of bruising on me because I used that cream, I got my massages. And believe it or not, that one oxygen chamber treatment did help, okay? Um, I bought a boppy pillow from the recovery house. That boppy pillow was $45. Um, there are people that sell other boppy pillows. You gotta check the quality of it. This boppy pillow that I got was thicker. It's not the kind you use for the baby. It's like a handmade thicker boppy pillow. Y'all gotta know what I'm talking about. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, ask me in the comments. I will respond. I will send you a picture. Um, I have bought some items at the pharmacy. Um, some feminine wash for my private area. I had got some pain medicine, some more pain medicine. And whatever Dr. Diaz prescribed me, it was good. It was good pain medicine. I don't know. All these years, I believe that the Dominican Republic did not have good pain medicine because whatever he prescribed me, I linked it in the last video. I put a picture in there as well. It started with the L. Loxo Forte or something. It had a little bit of codeine in it, y'all. And I didn't feel nothing. Like, I didn't feel nothing. My next video is going to be about the healing process. I'm also going to go over my recovery house. But I was like three days post-op. I was up dancing, having a good time in my room, just chilling out, vibing. Um, I had got a Faha from Alexander Faha, but I still had two Fajas from last year that I had brought. And I'm still using those Fajas. They altered them. They altered my two Fajas from last year, plus I got a brand new Faha, and that was $180. I spent $55 at the pharmacy. Excuse me. $180 at Alexander Faha. Then I had took a day trip to Boca Chica. I got an Uber. I can't recall the cost of my Uber, but the cost of Uber there and back, plus I went out on the boat. Um, what else did I do? I went out on the boat. I had grabbed a, a light meal. Um, that was pretty much it. And I just chilled. I sight saw and I had a good time. The cost, the fee for the boat, it came with drinks. So, of course, I was having surgery in the next couple of days, so I did not drink alcohol, okay? 
Don't go out there before surgery thinking vacation, vacation, and drinking alcohol. Mm -mm. But I did get like some non-alcoholic refreshments on the boat. That right there, I put $100. $100. So it must not have been expensive. Uber is not expensive. The boat ride, it was some people offering to do the boat ride for like $130. I want to say I might have paid $60 or $50 for that. You can negotiate your price, okay? Don't go lowballing these people because, you know, they work hard. But at the same time, $130 for an hour boat ride for one person. Now, now, anyhow, I had bought a souvenir also when I was out. I had got um, a sou some souvenirs and I spent about $40 for that. And then passing out tips between tips with the drivers. I was tipping Uber, um, my overnight nurse and stuff like that. I spent $100 in tips. And then um, I bought a gift set for, well, I bought two different gifts. I bought a gift for my driver at the recovery house. Okay, so his gift, I spent $35 on his gift, um, $100 in tips. And then that put me at $615. My COVID test was $40. And that was my COVID test before surgery. And then at the time, I was required to do a COVID test to get back in the U.S., but that rule has now changed. We're in that little 90 day incubation period where they're testing it out. But at that time, I had to pay $50 to get a COVID test to come back to the US. Um, and then I got my doctor like a little gift, some little snacks and chocolates, and that was $25. So that put me at $730. And somewhere along the way, y'all, I kept doing these calculations. I kept, y'all, all these scribbles. I kept doing the calculations and somewhere in there, I was missing $50, but I'm like, it's just $50. Maybe I dropped 50 somewhere or accidentally tipped somebody too much money. Or I could have miscalculated some kind of way. I don't know. Or my overnight nurse could have got me. She seemed really, really sweet, but she did nothing too much for me. This round, y'all, the nursing staff at the hospital, CSIP, I went to CSIP, they were on it. They were in my room every hour checking on me. At that time and at that point, if I knew it would be like that, I honestly would have not needed an overnight nurse. But it came with my package with Dr. Diaz. And um, afterwards, she did ask me, like, uh, you pay me? And I'm like, it's in my package. And then she, like, double-checked with the doctor staff and was like, oh, okay, okay. Um, but then I was like, I'll give you a tip. And I gave her a $20 tip. But I was missing $50. I don't know where, how, what, and who. But it's $50. Not a big deal. Um... So, extra days at the recovery house, it was like one additional day, I think. But in my package, I do recall somewhere like 10 days for tummy tuck, seven days for lipo BBL. I had lipo BBL. I didn't get charged for additional days. No one asked me. So, I didn't pay. I didn't go asking them. I think it was just really slow. So, at that point, they were just like, you know, it's no big deal transportation for the oxygen chamber i didn't pay a driver i did take a recovery house driver there that was not a fee but um that might have been taken as um one of my drive one of my rides to like um a post-op appointment because i only did one post-op appointment but i believe my package said it covered round trip to the airport plus three post-op visits and that was it so maybe that one ride to the oxygen chamber they just took it, okay, we'll take this as one of her post-op visits, although she only went one time. Um, I didn't pay anything for extra massages. I used the in-house massage lady. Um, my flight, so I fly Delta. Don't ever think you're going to put me on something else or I'm going to catch something else. I'm a Delta girl, okay? So I flew Delta. My flight was $593. Um, I booked everything a month before surgery. So... I booked this flight, I had surgery early May. So I booked all of this stuff the month prior. And I fly Comfort, I always fly Comfort. Going there, I did Comfort. Coming back, I did first class. And first class, honestly, the extra seating and stuff like that, it helped. Um, getting food and stuff, that helped too. I didn't have to stop around the airport to get food or anything like that. Um, getting on and off the plane first was nice. But you do wheelchair service, so that kind of happens already. 
But that flight was $593, Comfort to Dominican Republic, and I flew into SVQ, and then coming back to Atlanta. It was a straight flight, I wanna say maybe two and a half hours, so it wasn't bad. I didn't have any layovers. Now be mindful, at the Atlanta airport, Hartsfield-Jackson, the wheelchair people are gonna be non-existent. If you get there and there's somebody to wheel you, God is on your side. Whoever you look up to is on your side because I had to push myself through the wheelchair, through the airport. I had to push the wheelchair and my stuff through the airport. It was terrible. I almost passed out towards the end. I made it, but towards the end, I was like, God, I wish it was somebody there to push me because I was like, here, take this $100 bill. If you can push me from this terminal outside to my car, I'm good. Because literally when I got outside, my godmama in my car was outside waiting on me. I got in the car and drove home. I'm not waiting on no Uber, nobody to pick me up. Uh -uh. So yeah, that was my cost breakdown. So $780 is what I spent outside of my quote of $4,300. So that put me all together, airfare, everything, $5,833. Um, try not to just overspend. I like eating foods from different cultures, so out eating and ordering Uber Eats and stuff like that, it didn't happen. Um, buying additional clothes or fajas and things, didn't need to do that. The massage lady did what she was supposed to do, thank goodness. So my doctor, Dr. Diaz, he said what he was gonna do and he did what he was gonna say and do and did. So that is the cost breakdown of my round two. If I left something out, please drop a comment and I will get to it. Y'all know, I answer them emails. I answer the messages on Instagram. Follow my Instagram at glam underscore teacher. I will get to your message and let you know what the issue, what the, what the uh, business is, okay? Y'all know I don't hide anything, so. Holla at your girl, stay tuned because my next video, I'm going to rebuild my recovery house. I've been hearing some crazy stories about those recovery houses. Y'all, mm -mm. none of that happened at my, my recovery house. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Mwah.